What's up guys, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24 7 here with a pretty, oh, it's kind of like a how-to video. If you're like me and you don't really like the Traxxas connectors on your Traxxas UDR and you run something else like I do, I use XT90s, I use them on all my cars nowadays, um, then you might like this video. I've made a little plug or like a little hack that utilizes XT90s and you get totally gets rid of your uh, Traxxas plugs. Now spoiler alert, here it is here. You can see that I've also in this video I upgrade to the Max 6. I'll just quickly show you what I've done. I've actually hard mounted it to the bottom there. And if I can get the camera in, there's my little there's my XT90 connectors at the bottom with my XT90 3D printed mount just there. So if you're still interested, <laughs> watch the video. I might leave the th uh, that file on Thingiverse if uh, we get enough people interested in it or if you haven't got a 3D printer, I might be able to sell them to you. Cheap, cheap. So, let me know what you guys think. Let's watch the video. Happy days. Now here we have the ever popular Hobbywing Max 6 ESC. Fantastic EXC. You can run all the way up to 8S power, which is uh, heaps from 3S to 8S. A lot of guys use these in their uh, Traxxas X Max as a worthy upgrade than the uh, you know mediocre ones that you get in the uh, Traxxas cars. Now, what I want to do, I want to use this in my UDR. Now, the UDR up there, I'll get that down later on, but uh, the UDR comes with the Traxxas X-Max, or sorry, the Traxxas ESC. You can go all the way up to 6S power. This one here, I'd, you can go all the way to 8S and probably doesn't even break a sweat at 6, which is why I like to use these things, because it's more than enough. But with the Traxxas uh, UDR and the X-Max, it requires you to use their proprietary, um, what's it, little Traxxas connector but I didn't like that I like to use XT90s and on the battery side I'd like to have the XT90 S plugs which is anti spark so I 3D printed this little mount now it gets rid of the Traxxas ones and it utilizes two XT90s so you can run two batteries or you can run one put a dead plug plug in one like you do as it comes to stock in the kit but I 3D printed this guy so it holds them perfectly and you notice you have a little grub screw in the side here now what that grub screw does, it grabs in between the riding there, so if I push this guy out push it the other way you can see there that XT90, those two little, little arcs there, it kind of goes in between there and locks it in push it back up, as you can see it will lock it in between there, no problems, and once that's in there it does not move now, this is similar to the Traxxas one, I uh, yeah, just got the dimensions, made a little bit bigger, a bit beefier, and you can see it's got our NFGRC logo on the side. I'll uh, see if I, let me know if you guys are interested in this, I can upload the actual 3D printed file, or I can maybe even print some and maybe sell it to you guys, I'm not too sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but anyway, first step is, got to get some XT90s on here, and then I'll get the car out. And then we can see how we can all install this guy. It's been done to death. I'm not going to do a proper installation video, show everything. I want to try to get rid of the Traxxas ESC, utilize this Max 5 ESC, and show you how to put these guys in. Because I think a lot of you guys run XT90s. And um, yeah, let's move on. So I've soldered on the XT90 connectors. As you can see, they're easy as pie. So this setup, you can put a, you can use two batteries, or you can just use one. You put a dead plug just here, and that's that. So with that soldering job looks very nice and neat but that is one side of the uh, equation there we also need to connect this side here with the plugs that go from the ESC as you see here into the motor now when you normally buy new ESC like this Max 6 you don't get the bullet plugs connected on the end well, with this Hobbywing ones you don't anyway so what we need here we need six and a half millimeter bullet connectors to go into the stock Traxxas motor there now I'm pretty sure it is um, the X-Max ones were 6.5mm from memory, so these should be the same. So that's it. There is that all sold up, ready to go. Now we need to take out the ESC, as you can see here. Now obviously you need to take out the interior, that's easy, nothing to it. And next up you have this little cross brace up here. Two screws here, two screws there, take that out. Simple as that. And the ESC is also held down, not just with uh, double-sided tape, but it's held down with these two screws, which is nice. I do like it when they're actually affixed via hardware. Now once that's done, you're ready to pull everything out onto the motor. You're going to make sure that you take out the uh, signal wire that goes to the actual receiver itself. Don't lose that uh, gasket. Feed everything out here nicely. 
and then once that's done you can start putting in your new receiver sorry your new ESC so there's that that's it so there is this is, this is why I don't like you know I run XD9ers and everything and I don't like using connectors I really don't like it's like a bottleneck especially look how thin that gauge wire is you know it goes from that anemic wire to this fat juicy wire yeah I just don't like it I don't like using connectors I don't like using all this stuff there's, there's a dead plug so you know yeah bin that or they can go in another spare one for my son's X-Max so we'll have two spare including the one in the car so okay so that's obviously going to go down in here somewhere oh it looks better because it's black that's going to go there let me sort up these connectors these bullet connectors on to here and then we'll move on to the next step I'm not going to show you that because it's probably been done to death as well but that's easy put that on and uh, yeah then we can slap it on in there and that's how my little uh, XT90 bracket fits in this is a stock mounting holes as you can see just here that's how it looks and it's all plugged in I need another set screw or grub screw just to lock it in like this one here and that just sits in and it fits in the standard holes just a little bit of a uh, a little bit of gentle persuasion with a, a knife in this uh, stock location but once that's in there everything's going to just fit in there like a glove and uh, we'll be good as gold but once that's done I'll move the camera in so we can have a close look at that now while I was looking for a way to mount the ESC there was a you can use the, where the original one was and just maybe double sided tape or uh, good old cable tie but I like, like I mentioned before, I like them to be hardware fixed now what I thought on the bottom, as you see here, on the Mac 6, it has these screws. And these are perfectly the same size as the ones that you use. Like, these are the ones that you can use that attaches the body uh, and also the internal compartment, like the driver figurines and all that kind of stuff. And this guy threads into there perfectly. Now, you can, so what I thought, I'm going to find out where they are. They're roughly about 15mm in and 10mm high, so I kind of measured that on this bottom board here. And you can get three in because there's it's like a little support here that I want to cut away. So one, two, and three holes just there. Good old, you know, got the tongue hanging out to kind of make sure that I measured them correctly. But that fits in there perfectly, and should give you enough, you know, bite about three or four mil bite before it hits the bottom of this kind of the the ceiling of this actual bottom of the ESC. So if you just turn them in, kind of thread them in there. And there we go, as you can see, the plastic is thicker than that. If I can focus, the plastic is thicker than that on that plate there. So that'll hold it down nicely. And what you can also do, um, you can also put the double sided tape there as well to give it a little bit more clearance and a little bit of uh, squish factor. So let me put all of that in and put these in and that will be the actual ESC mounting done. Here are my bullet connectors all done. Obviously I need to heat shrink them, but they look pretty cool. Happy with them. Here we go. I'm done. And there we have it. Three screws. That one you can't put in there, but three screws is more than enough. And I also put that standard double sided tape that it comes with the uh, ESC. And that guy is firmly attached in there. I'm happy about that. It fits in the uh, stock mounting uh, plate perfectly. Slide a bit overhang just at the back here, probably 5mm just down uh, down here, but that's perfect. I'm really happy with how that's turned out actually. Now if I spin it around, it looks so much better in there just being black, but there we go. If I'm lifting the ESC up, there we go there. So definitely that is in there for good. Nice and straight, everything looks you know, happy with that. Now connect the uh, motor wires obviously that's easy but what I want to show you next is this awesome uh, XT90 connector really happy with that now once that's all down pad obviously we find a plot spot for the on and off switch that's done for this video pretty simple but uh, yeah I'm actually happy I don't I, I hate cable ties and stuff around ESCs it just looks ugly that looks so much neater and definitely not going anywhere Okay, everything is put together. Motor is motor wires are all hooked up. I only had blue heat shrink. Always run out of uh, red and black. But anyway, everything is done nice and solid. If it's the wrong way around, I can just whip the uh, 
swap them around, that's no big deal. The receiver's all plugged in, everything works. I'll leave a running video for another video because it's going to be too long. But now we're up to the XT90 connector, or the, the hack that I did. So that's my little uh, 3D printer job. Here is the original, so I pretty much copied the original. As you can see, it's slightly different. It's, uh, I sealed it all up, as you can see, the original one it's got like this uh, groove through it. My one is just one whole piece. And what you have to do, hold on and do this, for example. Simple, simple technique here. So, there's the XT90 plug. As you can see, it's hollow. So when you fit it, you just slide it down there. I've made, I think, one or two millimeter gap somewhere to catch on here. I can't remember exactly, but all you need to do, you slide it in there. It's a perfect fit. As you can see, so slide it in there, bit of a push, push it in there nice and nice and firm. And in this hole, this grub screw will lock in between the two little symbols on the XT90 connector. Simple as that. So you just screw this guy in. If it's the first time you 3D, like you printed it, just go back and forth a few times to get the thread happening. You don't want to go too crazy on the 3D print there, it might snap. And that is it. As you can see, <coughs> once that's screw down it's not going anywhere so I do that the same to this side like that and let's have a look <coughs> so there that's it ready to go now I've utilized so you can you made you so you can use the standard uh, screws that you pulled out from the top here to screw it actually down as you can see from the top they look a little bit you know a little bit different but same same all, right, all you need to do is the NFGRC is facing the left side of the car. Everything fits as per the normal one. So you get these two screws that you use to screw down the normal or the standard one there. All the holes should line up. And let's just screw this down. And the way. Screw that down. Nice and tight. And there we go. A couple more on this one. And what this gives you is a much cleaner setup in my opinion so screw that down so that's how it looks once everything's in there kind of looks factory if you ask me if you flip it around boom there we have XC90 connectors ready to go and as you can see all you need to do on your car is do a little bit of trimming to fit the connector here so just this outer part here is pretty much all you need to trim and that's it so if I get an XT90 battery if I get this and like I said if you want to run two batteries you use but you utilize both of those if you want to run run just put one dead plug in one and that's it battery bam simple as that that's all you need to do so really easy so super strong put it in there do it again put it in the first one tug on that not going anywhere. So, really happy about that. Seems to be robust. Time will tell though. I'll um, put it through its paces. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want, if I should start selling these. If you can't, if you don't have a 3D printer yourself, or um, I can get the, the actual uh, file for the 3D print and you can print it. So, there we go. Happy about that. Get rid of those Traxxas connectors. That looks so much better. Get a bit of a close up for you. That's it. I've seen it done before on the internet and it's very similar design to that one as well. You can't really differ that much from it. But first go at it. I might uh, I don't think anything needs to be improved. I think it works well. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, in the comments. Here's the uh, close up on top version. On top view, sorry. So yeah. Seems to be just like the stock one was, to be honest. Nothing to it, so I am pretty happy about that. And once you see with the Max 5, sorry, Max 6 installed in there, it just looks like it should be there. Nice and black, hidden away, and everything fits in the stock location. You could move it here if you want without running the interior, but I'm quite happy running it there. I'll, um, I'll leave it for another video running this guy, I know it works. Everything's all plugged in. Everything uh, is where it should be, and let's just have a proof of how strong these are. So I'm lifting the car, pulling, holding just these wires here so you know they're not going anywhere and that plug is definitely secured that's not going to be pulled out with you if you yank it too hard which is what I want to see so let me know what you guys think in the description hope you enjoyed the video give it a good old like if you do and 
give me some feedback. Positive, negative, I don't care. Just give me some feedback. Let me know what you think of this actual system. And if you have updated your UDR to the Max 6, I think it's a no-brainer upgrade. And, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that little bell, or that little notification bell. If you do, you get notified um, of all the latest uploads that I uh, do to the channel lately. So once again, thanks for watching. Appreciate all my um, current subscribers and all the new subscribers as well that have recently subbed. It means a lot. Appreciate it. There'll be uh, many, many videos coming too. There's heaps of cool stuff. I've got that uh, Proline. MT 4x4 happening very soon, or well, part 2 is coming soon, Carbos to upload his uh, video 1. And I've also got a spare UDR body here, which I want to cut up into like a cool little... I wouldn't mind just leaving the centre section and cutting off the front and rear uh, guard. Kind of, just make, kind of just make it so this part is covered, and kind of just this centre and this part is covered. And just leave the wheels and stuff like that. All exposed. This camera's shaking. There we go. So, thanks guys. Appreciate you watching. Like if you like the video. Even like, thumbs down, I don't care. Just appreciate it if you uh, let me know. So, thanks guys. See you around.